This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. The federal health insurance marketplace is now open. So if you're under 65, you're free to shop for the health plan that's right for you. UPMC Health Plan has some of the lowest price plans on the marketplace. Plus, you may be eligible for financial assistance to help you pay for your insurance. For affordable coverage that includes access to UPMC and digital tools to help you manage your health, visit upmchealthplan.com slash marketplace. Enroll today. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast episode 472. 200. Wait, you, you're, you're, you're discounting us. Time. You lost like five years of podcast there. That's John Chichilla. He may not know numbers of podcasts, but he is a gadget guru, a big bank international hiding behind that microphone. They don't let me touch, touch the money for a reason. <laughs> no, they do not. No, they do not. Welcome. You're getting ready for the Thanksgiving. I am. The turkeys, the turkeys in the refrigerator thawing. Mm-hmm. We got two turkeys this year. What? But is it like a safety turkey? No, there's no safety turkey. I'm, 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 we're, I'm we're confident gonna, in my. You're going to turkey, turkey without a net? Are you doing a deep fry thing? Are you are you uh, doing the dangerous thing? No, we do we do the in the oven. Um, I do stuff my turkey. Okay. Um, okay. But we we got the free turkey at Shop and Save too. Okay. So we we're doing Thanksgiving now. Okay. And then we're doing Thanksgiving in January. Well, for like uh, people are out of town or something, no, or just to have turkey. You're just like you know, I want an excuse. It's like, hey, let's have a gobblerito in July because, mm-hmm, right? Exactly. I yes. had my gobblerito this year. I did not get delicious. mine yet. I went. I don't. We'll have to get that in. Um. But anyways, it is. We have promised this for a little bit now. It is the mom cast. And I think we may have another mom joining us later in the show. Uh, we're waiting for people to kind of settle in and do that. But we do have with us, Mom Sorg is with us right now. Say hi. No, you got to say hi for the audio hi. listeners. Hi. Some people are on audio. Hello. Okay. Hi. Mom or Kathy. The dog says hi. Oh, yeah. All the dogs are here, too. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, uh, you get under, under the desk is a large, <laughs> large dog. <laughs> Large lab and Wicket. He has a white lab and Wicket's with us as well. So you'll probably hear him yipping a little bit here. He's hanging out with producer Missy in the back, um, but uh, which you know, in, in back behind uh, where where mom is there. So I'm excited. You're going to ask us questions. We're going to talk with you about tech. I know you got some new toys to talk to us about to see how you're doing with them. Um, okay, so I'm doing better. You're doing better. We'll get to it. We'll get to okay. it. But first, uh, let, we got to get it uh, through some business. Uh, of course, this is the Awesome Cast. You can check out everything on awesomecast.com. You can subscribe, get a, a past episodes, uh, search there about, you know, if we talked about your favorite topic in the last few weeks or anything you want to get at. Uh, you can also uh, email us at awesomecast.sorgatronmedia.com. Tweet us at awesomecast and the Awesome Cast Facebook page and group. A lot of great discussion, a lot of great stories that we bring up on the show here um, or even get some some background on stories we're sharing throughout the week that we use for the show. Uh, thank you so much for everybody who has been participating in that uh, for so long. Subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast app. Watch video versions on Facebook and YouTube. And uh, you can uh, rate us. Uh, well, you can also ask your, your Google Home device, your uh, Amazon Echo, uh, whatever you're calling it these days. <laughs> And uh, ask to play the Awesome Cast podcast on your device. And we are here live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time with you here on Facebook. And we say we're on multiple play- platforms. We're on, uh, you know, on, we're on a Twitch channel. We're on a, um, a, a couple of YouTube channels, a couple of Periscope channels. So if you are catching us on one of those other platforms, um, please hit us up over on the Facebook page. If you want to participate in the chat room or if you're checking us out on those or on some other platform uh, later on, uh, please tweet us at AwesomeCast with the hashtag AC472 to continue the conversation. I wonder if like, other things pick us up and we don't even know about it. We should run a Who contest. Knows? Who can find us on the most obscurest source? Yeah, because we do pop up. Like, I, I don't know. I'm, you know, geez, uh, 14 years of, of podcasts. I've seen my, 
I've seen like Mayhem Show and this show on so many different platforms, some that are not in English. <laughs> it's just like okay, uh, you just see the logo. Yeah, and you you're just like, do, oh, that's you me. Just, you do like a Google deep dive sometimes, and it's just like wow, because they just like scrape like the YouTubes and the podcasts and everything, and it's it's very peculiar. I, I've recovered shows that have been lost to the ether because of that sometimes. So because of whatever hardware failure or something, right? Uh, speaking of one of those, some of those other platforms you can find us, our friends, our audio partners, the 405media.com. That's carrying us about every, uh, around our noon Eastern time every uh, every weekday. And, uh, of course, our friends at Post Industrial Audio at postindustrial.com. A great, great thing over there uh, that's uh, uh, giving you a lot of local news and everything from the Rust Belt area. Go go subscribe. Go subscribe to their newsletters. Go subscribe to their Pittsburgh Record Daily podcast as well to get the, the daily news in Pittsburgh. It's a uh, awesome thing they're doing also thank you to our patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesome cast our friends at the coffee club five dollar level matt weller john diggy DeGore, and john carmen and at the fan of the show one dollar level michael fedor and pghmuseums.org who's rocking out there you guys support the show too at patreon.com slash awesome cast chilla you got some awesome things this week i have one or two or three you always have a toy or two four. here every couple of weeks so and i know this is a little on the pricey side Mm-hmm. But so I got a chance to try out the Plantronics Voyager 8200 UC. So it's a it's your typical over the ear headphones. We have them right here. Has, they look they look spiffy. <clears throat> it has a very nice squishy headband. Mm. Expandable. Okay. And the one thing I like is so I'm always interested in can they swivel like outwards? I love the giant L and R because I can, yeah, and their L and R in the, in the ear inside the ear. But yeah. I can put this kind of in a bag and it mm-hmm. lays flat, and I don't have to worry nice. about crushing. I'm always concerned about that. Like I'll I'll throw my my skull candy, skull candy hash like these ones mm-hmm. or the uh, Bluetooth ones, which which one Bluetooth doesn't work anymore. Um, but they work fine wired. Like I'll throw those in a bag and I'm always like concerned, like, you know, stuffing those in an overhead compartment with my laptop or something. It takes up so much room, you know, or even the ones like you, you were kind of complaining about the skull candies that you guys use for your monitors in the studio. Like it's, they probably got like deformed from being thrown in in bags that way. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so typical Bluetooth. It also, what I really like is the talk time on these is supposed to be ridiculous. It's like, Mm -hmm. 15 20 so it's hours. a full like you can be on the phone with that thing right 24 hours of listening time Jeez. so it's Oof. you weren't kidding about the prices so they retail for 379.95 um they have them over on platronic site right they're, now they're for, black friday for, black friday for 285 yep they also have so this is Jeez. the usb this is the micro usb version they also have a usb c mm-hmm. port ported one which i wish i would have noticed that um they have what I thought was pretty cool is so there's the two two levels of noise cancellation. So you put these on and it can kind of block out what's around you. Mm-hmm. Um, and there's actually so it, it's hard to see if you look in the picture, you see those little silver areas towards the bottom. They're right here. Um, they look kind of like little mesh metal. Like these bits here. Can you see that on there? Yep. Okay. Towards towards the front. Towards like, the front. These little kind of grooves. Yeah, see yeah, those grooves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the microphones. That's the microphones? That's the microphones. <laughs> so there, it's a boomless microphone. Okay. And I've used these for the last two days at work. Mm-hmm. Um, and I haven't gotten any complaints, which usually if someone hears someone around me, mm-hmm. and there's a person that sits across from me, um, he's not loud, but he definitely, he talks. Um, play pause forward backward double tap for your favorite voice assistant to come through your ear um other cool fun fact so it comes with a pre-paired usb bluetooth dongle so you just plug the bluetooth dongle in anything that takes bluetooth and it's pre-paired so you don't have to like go through any kind of pairing process hmm. you can obviously put it in we, the we pairing anything mode. that takes usb yep nice. and then obviously your phone the cool thing that plantronics did was they updated their app on the phone I can update the firmware on these mm-hmm. right from my phone without having to like wired plug it into a computer. Um, so when I got these, I was like, wow, I can barely hear anyone on the other side of the conversation. Like I couldn't get them up loud enough during a phone call. And 
I opened up the app and it said that there is a firmware update that fixes a, a loudness issue in phone calls. Hmm. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Super easy to update. I think it comes in a couple colors. I didn't even realize it came in like the sand or tan or whatever with silver. I got the the kind of black on black um, model, which I'm super happy with. Um, also has a mic mute built right onto the device, so you don't actually have to reach down to your phone to mute. Um, and overall, I'm pretty impressed with the quality. So I have kind of a non-tech thing. We it, we, we like randomly stumbled last night. My, my my awesome thing is this really uh, chintzy uh, snow globe. <laughs> so we we went to a movie. But we, we were going to go to the improv last night. Uh, Mick Foley was in town, and uh, we um, completely like we were just like, well, let's go get a movie. I got to render stuff anyways, and uh, and uh, apparently there was a red carpet Xfinity Comcast event for Frozen Two. Okay. We walked by it because we were on that side of the theater because it was at Lowe's where they have like the two sides. Mm-hmm. They have like 22 screens. And uh, apparently Missy was basically demanded to be given a swag bag of Frozen 2, <laughs> which <laughs> included this. So it was kind of like a fun extra thing. And they had they were t- get, t- getting pictures on the green screen with like frozen backgrounds and everything. So somebody m- tried to get me to take a survey. I'm like, you don't want me to take a survey for Comcast. Is there, is there like a card? What's the card on the back? Oh, so it? so this is instead of there being something. Also, it didn't have water in it. Like I asked Missy about that. She's like, she's like, yeah, it doesn't. She went and filled it. Um, and and, and it didn't come with water. It, it's got leaves in it. And okay. and the whole thing is you can put these backgrounds, these frozen backgrounds on there. I guess you can color the one sides of these. And um, there are stickers. Which you can put on the backgrounds too, so we'll which it's I pretty mean, nifty. The stickers will just end up a bunch of places. Let's be honest about this. Uh, so, why do you have a frozen sticker on the back of your laptop? Who knows? Um, so, anyways, that's my awesome thing. I, I know I'm going real low tech this this week, Mom. Yeah, you got some new toys lately. Tell us about what you what you you went through like an upgrade like war path lately. Well, I turned 65. I deserve, thought I deserved some big upgrades. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good reason. That's a good reason. I was going to upgrade the pad, too, but I, I thought that might be for Christmas. So what did you do? I got the new phone. The now, XO- it is, it's the XR. XR. It's the XR. So, wait, so take, it's still the last year's phone, but you were upgrading from, what, a 7? Yeah. Okay. And it was a small 7. Okay. And I thought I was going to go up to the 8 plus but i got talked into this one which is probably better thank you at&t yeah huh? at&t talked you into it yeah yeah so how how have you been um you know it, it's kind of a you have no buttons you don't have a no. touch or anything no it's i'm getting used to it mm-hmm. i'm getting used to it it's i think we did i set you up with face id a few weeks after you got it yeah you did yeah <laughs> As, well, well, uh, well. Mom is operating Chilla with uh, uh, no no lock or anything on it on her phone. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's not safe. Not safe. Not safe. And all you have to do is look at it. So, but well, it, I didn't like the thumb thing. No. So how's the face been treating you? It's okay. Sometimes it's not the right position, or mm-hmm. and then I have to put the code in. But this other thing that keeps coming up, I don't know what to do about. Mm. It's that two-way something or other because it comes up on the pad in here. Two-way. Update. It says update Apple ID settings. Mm-hmm. Some of my accounts need, and then when I hit continue, it wants me to put a. I put my Apple password in. Okay, don't do it on the show. Okay. <laughs> but then it'll want me to create a pass four-digit password. Okay, like a pin? Yeah. I'm afraid to do that. I'm going to lock myself out of stuff. What did you... Or is it where, or is it asking her to confirm who she is and it's going to send the pin to the other device? That might be too. It's like a two-factor. It shows up on both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that... and, and you know what? It's annoying too because it keeps 
anything I do, it keeps keep showing this thing on the top. It needs to be done. It needs to be done. Yeah. I'm playing my cards and it's, t- it's showing up top. It's like, get out of here. I don't well, want you. We'll have to take a look at that after the show. I bet you if you do it once, it'll never come back again. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Because I don't think you need to create. I think it needs to, like, it needs to see. So it'll pop up a code on one of, it's like a six digit code. And it pops up on one of your other devices, and you say, hey, were you trying to log into your account? You say allow. It pops up the code. You pop that in there, and it confirms your account. Okay. My moment of crisis was, oh, how did this work? I got my new iPhone. Mm-hmm. I did the wireless restore mm-hmm. device to device. So it's like a Bluetooth. Like, you don't have to be on Wi-Fi whatever right you just set them next to each other and they work set them next to each other they work so but to activate the new phone i took the sim card out of the old phone and put it in the new phone Mm -hmm. and then i wanted a screen protector for my new phone so i literally took the new phone in mid restore grabbed the other phone because it's tethered to it it's not wired tethered but it's Mm -hmm. wirelessly tethered to it put them in my pocket and off i went to the mall Mm -hmm. get to the mall the restore is done and I'm at the position she's at, but it won't actually let me past it until I verify my pin code from another device. But the SIM card isn't like, I have no other, you have I no, had way, no to... way to connect the other device and I couldn't get on like the Wi-Fi at the mall. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to, th- I actually in the middle of that ejected the SIM card out of the new device, put it in the old device, got enough connectivity to get the pin code and then put the, put it back in the other device. So you juggled SIM cards. So, so like both, both lines came over the same SIM card, basically. (laughs) Jeez. (laughs) Juggling them. Uh, You also got a phone. uh, I'm sorry. A new watch, right? Like you upgraded from the three. Yeah. I got the new Mm -hmm. with the fall protection. You got the fall. Yes, the fall protection. Because you wanted me to have that. That was a thing. So we were. She's like, I don't think we need. I need a new new watch. It's paid off and everything. And, and well, there was the fall, and there was the EKG. The EKG. And mm. when we saw the fall, well, I guess four had the EKG, right? And I guess the yes. the fall um the fall detection and emergency contact was new with the f- I guess we're five. At the five. And it's supposed to be very good from what I hear. Mm-hmm. You can even crack it. Mm-hmm. And, and and they'll still find they'll there still was a th- there was a thing on the internet about someone that had fallen off his bike mm-hmm. and um it alerted both the 911 and and the family mm-hmm. and, so, and, and this is i mean you you recently had some some health issues yeah and and this kind of like is now on top of mind for us right yeah so yeah, yeah. well that was a, that was your idea though yes. when we were down in myrtle beach yes <laughs> He's going to follow you everywhere you go. Well, we already do. I, yeah. Virtually. Well, this is something we do, actually. And I don't know if you do this with your family. I, I think I've told you about this, but I don't know if we talk about it on the show. We actually do the Find My Friends. And okay. on there yeah. is we have each other. Like, we have Mom, me, and Missy all on that. Well, I have, and so, I have Matt and Brittany on and mine. Yeah. So, and they're on... Well, Brittany is, because my being Matthew traded off of the iPhone... Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's a green bubble yeah he's a green bubble uh, yeah he but, is a green bubble but like i tell them i said if you see me sitting in one spot especially at home for a couple of days maybe you better check on me mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. so uh mom you're saying that the, the the what was it the fall protection or the ekg was it developed by some doctor you were, you yeah, were looking the, up yeah um it, it, this has been developing for some time because she ended up in china to get this going with the because it's what with the Fitbit too. Okay. Yeah, because huh. Fitbit has the same thing. Mm-hmm. And um, it was because her dad. She was very young. Her dad died of a heart attack, and there was nothing she could do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she, she was, she was. Um, she just had her dad, and she became a doctor, and that's what she wanted to make sure it was caught mm-hmm. before. Well, that's that's the thing. Like, I know there are some people that they'll see, you know, a lot of the notifications on the heart rate, even, yeah. and that's something they can say, "Hey, there's something up." That's something you wouldn't know. Um, you know, that's a big thing. Is you go to the doctor, like, "You have any issues?" Well, you know, you remember you ha- you felt a little woozy, like like two months ago on a Tuesday. Mm-hmm. You know, whereas you can see the do- the you can see the data that shows something yeah, was it up. Shows- so, and I know you've already kind of brought that to a doctor's attention. Uh, some of that, right? Yeah, when I was on that so high on that prednisone, mm-hmm. and I but I think it, 
it was the prednisone that was making the heartbeat go so high because mm. kept kicking on. I was I'm over 120. I'm over 120. Yeah. and they said it wasn't a big problem, but at least they knew about yeah. it because if it it, yeah. it it could be something that signals something yeah. else. Yeah. So, but now with the EKG, like uh, that is something that I haven't figured that part out yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> But it is something that you know it could it could at least, it's not perfect, but it could be like yeah. give you a sign to to do something. Now I don't have the fall protection turned on on yet. Okay, I, I haven't f- figured that out yet. So the, well, uh, we we in the chat room we were told there might be a uh, <laughs> there might be an Apple Tech that might might be up for visiting you on Friday if if you're up for it. What so um, oh, our friend works at the Apple Store. We mean on Friday. On Friday, on Black Friday, since everybody's off. How, was he going to be at your house? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Is he going to help put put my signs up? Oh, she. No, 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 no. no. That's something different. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll touch base on that. So, but but otherwise, I mean, uh, uh, other than those those few features, how's the new watch been treating you? I know, you know, you said you turned off the always on because you were worried about well, the battery. Well, I just turned it back on again. Okay. Because I did kind of like that it was on. Yeah. And I didn't have to turn my wrist every time to make it turn on. Yeah. Well, that was one of the big features for it, right? Um, Achilla, you're still ro- rocking what? Probably a three? I'm still on the three. Yeah, same here. I'm so. I'm trying to just... Des- because of the AT&T price hike, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to... I did notice... Drop the... the so I have the cellular watch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I'm trying to decide if you, I'm going to drop... You're talking about the, uh, the, the $15 or, what, or $10 that you add on because of it? So my AT and T price went up because I'm on an old plan. Okay, that was like a 15 gig family share. Okay, and like all my, I think it went up. Yeah, they just changed fifteen dollars. So they just changed all their plans because I'm kind of looking at it and I'm like, wait, this one's fifty dollars cheaper, but has fifty gigs of hotspot versus my ten. Like that kind of stuff is happening, and I'm like, but I'm like, okay, what am I missing here? Like, it, it you know, because it, it it says with like fifty dollar auto pay or something. And I was like, wait, so what's the actual price? Because I can't auto pay, right? <laughs> so, so my thing was, my gripe is, I'm obviously off contract because I buy my phones outright. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm on an old fifteen gig plan mm-hmm. that was pretty cost effective for three official lines and an and a Apple watch. Mm-hmm. They raised my bill rate by $15 a month without really saying anything other than I read, that the, read new, the media. Was, was that the new um, warning? Cause the warranty went up. No, I, I actually, so that's the other thing I did. So they added warranty. This was a couple months ago. They added yeah. warranties to all my devices. And I'm like, like without you asking it? Without me asking. And I'm like Well they they told me the warranty was gonna go up when I but, got this. But I didn't the, the price But I didn't up. have a warranty. Okay. And I bought like I bought this direct from Apple. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I was talking we were talking, I flipped the swim SIM cards. Now you're making like, me want to check my bill. Like so they added warranties to all my devices. I'm like so I went in and I'm like, why did my all my why did my bill go up? And they're like, Oh, we added warranties to all your stuff. And I'm like, I don't want that. Yeah. <clears throat> so I had them remove all that. Then last month it got, went up fifteen dollars because my plan is no longer in existence. So they put me on a comparable plan. So yes, I went from fifteen gig plan with rollover to a thirty gig plan with rollover. Hmm. And I'm like, usually I use ten. So. I always had 20 because I always had five rolling over. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, this is ridiculous. So now, yeah. now to get my price back down to what I was paying, I think I'm just going to start slowly removing devices from their network. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, we're, we're kind of at that point too, because we have a lot of iPads and I go, I see like less than uh, a 0.1 gig is, is used. I, I think we're going to audit, go down the family line and be like, Hey, how much are you using that iPad? Mm-hmm. You know, not on Wi-Fi. you know, what, cause let's, Let's talk about this. <laughs> shave, could you, could you tether a, it for the little, a, minimal amount? Yeah, you're using. shave a fifteen here and there. I'm like, you are mm-hmm. also carrying your phone on there, so there might be a, a bit of a family re-education happening very soon here. So because it's like, yeah, that's 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 well, up there. You don't there. have to do that with me because I already know what, no. I, what I want. Yeah, you already have your plan and everything. I, uh, yeah, all I got good. is this on my plan. I just need 
this when I'm not at my desk, mm-hmm. this will go off. And when I'm in the kitchen at work, mm-hmm. and I can answer the phone, mm-hmm. and because you're you're in that bubble. But if of you're Wi-Fi. on Wi-Fi, if you're on Wi-Fi, yeah. So that's the one yeah. thing. So, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not on. I'm not on my phone plant. Mm-hmm. Neither of these are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. I didn't so want that. I I have become less responsible <laughs> by having a cellular enabled <laughs> well, watch. Yes. Where like I'll forget to grab the phone on the way out the door and I'm just running to the supermarket. And it's not and as back. big of a deal, right? And I'm like, I'm not walking all the way back up there to get I'm the not phone. going back. If anything important happens, like I have this, It'll right? come to my watch. Yeah, so we'll, we'll just have to talk, you know, you know, walkie-talkie style. So, and well, that's another thing, too. We're going to get, uh, we just signed up again. I swear I'm not going to cancel it this time um, because we had an incident and I realized if my webcams were on, uh, we would have caught the person that was messing around on my Porsche a couple weeks ago. Mm. So that's happening. So we're going to have Fios at the house again. And, oh, I'm, okay. and I'm realizing like, well, we have the iPads and they all are sell and we go home. Now, if like say those iPads are only really used at home, we don't need them anymore. And mm-hmm. we're not using hotspot as much because we're not using it at the house. So it's a whole like re re, you know, working of how everything's working, I guess. Or at least we could, like, turn off, you know, a line or, you know, deactivate a line mm-hmm. until, like, we're in travel season or something, like, for some of them, you know, depending on what they are. So, I don't know. It's 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 that game, right? And, you know, our phone bill is absolutely obscene. <laughs> so, but we justified it for not having internet at home. And we just can't figure out a way to do that with AT&T. LT. I've looked at. So I swear, LT. I swear there was a security system set up that we were offered by AT and T like years ago. And I walked in and said, "Do you have security cameras or anything?" I was like, "Well, we got that Arlo in there over there, but none of us know anything about it." <laughs> I'm just like, "Okay." But Arlo runs off a of Wi-Fi. It, yeah. So I'm like, "Well, why are you selling it at a cellular plan store?" Right? Like it doesn't make. Yeah, any but they sense. went through that phase where they wanted to become the entertainment company. Yeah, yeah. Well, they still are with the yeah. AT&T TV and stuff. Like, but I mean, even like right after they picked up DirecTV, before DirecTV now mm-hmm. came to be. They kept trying to sell me satellite uh, yeah. TV. Yeah, they just try- they were trying to sell me that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were trying to sell me that. Well. But like, my Xfinity is still cheaper than that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, right now. <laughs> we're not going to get started on Xfinity here. You, I know, we're not I know. getting that when you move to the city with us. <laughs> Anyways, um... So, uh, uh, you know what's also awesome? You know what also you'll be closer to when you move to the city, Mom? What? That slice on Broadway. That good stuff. Supporting what? Pittsburgh Podcasting with the uh, perfect pepperoni pizza like we had earlier tonight. Yeah. Yes. And and then there's there's Bob's uh, Bob's bar- Barbecue. Yes, but they're not sponsoring the show. <laughs> okay. But Slice on Broadway, <laughs> right here in Beachview, okay. Carnegie, East End, and PNC Park. We'll, we'll talk to Bob's later, okay? <laughs> if you want to have a conversation with Bob's, we can talk to Bob's. <laughs> hey, Bob's. <laughs> you know, on this podcast tip it's been working really great for a slice on broadway well, one location to four and uh <laughs> since we've been uh supporting them on and they've been supporting us on the show we've been telling the world yeah. about them yeah. uh, uh really good stuff really good pizza awesome guys down there and girls i do like their there. pizza yes it's a, it's really good stuff go check them out right here up the road from our studio location our good friends at slice on broadway slice on broadway.com pgh underscore slice on the tweets so I want the chat room to get in on this too, if you would. Um, it is that time. I didn't give a heads up. I did on the wrestling one. What are you thankful for in technology this year? What technology? What are you thankful for in technology this year? What is getting you by? What is it, what is something this year that that my old AutoCAD's getting me back? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, we, we didn't explain. We didn't give background. Like you work, basically, you work in a technical field. Yeah, you were you're a, you're a drafter. You work with AutoCAD. Yeah. Uh, but they pa- keep teasing me because I won't but, won't upgrade my my um, AutoCAD from 2014. 2014. It is you know. Okay. It's only, it's okay. only five years old. You got yeah, an easy no, five no, more no, years. No. Well, it's not an upgradable one. It's because the new AutoCAD. They, see, they now now you have to subscribe, subscribe every year. Oh well, well, we're yeah, we're used to that with. Uh, uh, so how how much is is the subscription? I'm curious. It's now. like a thousand dollars a year or okay, more. Okay, depends well, on which we're paying like fifty bucks a month for Adobe stuff. So it's a it's a thousand dollars for the regular auto can if hey. you get the get the up uh, the um. With all the architecture Whoa. stuff. Whoa! So I'm looking at AutoCAD here on their, on the right, right on up on their website at Autodesk. Uh, 1610 per year. Yeah. That is CAD software. 
uh, to design anything now. Da, 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 da. So this would be uh, tool sets, web, and mobile apps. But then you get a mobile app, Mom. I got it on here. <laughs> you got it on there? Yeah, I got it. No, I got the 360. And this is, I, mean, I can bring the drawings up on, on here. Nice. So this is, so basically it looks like um, Autodesk AutoCAD has kind of gone that way of Adobe Hi. where it, it's kind of more cloud-based now, right? My name is Marcus O'Brien. Right? Yeah. And I leave so, the AutoCAD. So yeah. it, it's kind of, I mean, a lot, of, a lot of these tools are going this way at this point. Yeah. Um. So it, it's kind of bringing it up there. But I mean. But I still do, do the old school way. The old school way. Yeah, I'm not ready to, Um. it's. Uh, uh, my my the technology can only go so far in the head and it can't go any further yeah. up there. Uh you're you're almost on retire- retirement. <laughs> anyways, I don't need right? to you go. Need I to didn't need to, I don't need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Not wrinkles you need. You're still learning to use your watch, uh, I- <laughs> right? Can you no, get I, AutoCAD I just, on your watch? Can you get AutoCAD on your watch? No, but I can, I can bring, I can bring stuff here. What happened to my phone here? Oh, wait, let me. you gotta look at it. You gotta look at it now. Remember? Okay. But I also have. Mm-hmm. Okay, where's it at? Where's my? I also have a room scan on. Room, room. <laughs> that didn't sound right. Room. It's a room scan. Okay. Um, Is that like an AR thing? Yeah, it's like okay. I press it and I can take it across and it'll measure a wall. Really? Yeah. Okay. A couple different things. Well, then let me get to the music part. What? Are we still talking about AutoCAD? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, but but I mean, I can I and then I can bring drawings up also on the pad. That's why okay. one of the pads. So I mean, this is this is like again, I, and yeah. I've I've talked about on the show here about how like going to the old like you know the, your old office where you're drafting in uh, somebody's basement, uh, uh, a company basement. Sounds familiar to what we did a few years ago. Uh, oh, that, yeah, that's right. Up in Greenville. Yeah, up in yeah, Greenville. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's kind of gone to like... Well, it, that that went from that whatever I was on, Cascade, mm-hmm, to mm-hmm, AutoCAD, and mm-hmm. AutoCAD 1.3 or something. And here's, Wow. And now you're on, like, you're pulling stuff up on your phone. Yeah, I can pull... I can, but I don't do it that often. So I you've been... You've been now. I'm going to interview you a little bit. Uh, you've always kind of been on cutting edge, in my yeah. recollection. Yeah. You had the the first cell phone I had ever seen. In the bag. In yeah. the bag. Yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. the phone in the bag. I had the one in the bag. Yeah. yeah. The one in the bag. You. You. We. We got a. Uh, you know, a hot, four eighty six computer in nineteen ninety three. Yeah. <laughs> a hot one. You mean do? I didn't steal it. No. 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 I mean. <laughs> Some, it was it was some high end specs. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, with the with the floppy it, drive in it, with the big floppy. We had, we had, well, we had the little floppy. No, it was the, I don't think we had the big floppies. And, we had and the you little figured floppies. out, and then you figured out how to run that whole thing. Yeah, uh, mostly I took it apart one time. Yeah, you took it apart. And, yeah. and then I, I didn't see the the, the video card, and, and I, thought I, was, in, I thought I was I thought I was going to be grounded I, for life. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you? I don't know. Uh, that was probably I was probably like twelve or thirteen by Heck, then. You, you showed the teachers at, at school how to run the computers. Yep. <laughs> so I mean, so they say though this is this has been you've always been kind of on that, and obviously yeah. look at you sitting there with an iPad and your phone and your watch. <laughs> so um, I mean, that's 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 what I'm thankful for is uh, is kind of that inspiration to get into now. Now here we are. Yeah. In this 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 situation here, and I was also going to bring you on here. Uh, I love show title, Big Floppy, Little Floppy. Thank you, Chilla. No problem. <laughs> Chilla, what are you thankful for this I'm year? I'm thankful for just high-speed wireless. So I've recently pretty much saturated my house in AC. Mm-hmm. And Wait till I start getting going again <laughs> with the house technology. And it's actually alleviated. So I used to try to run hard wires like all over the place, mm-hmm. which was like drilling holes in walls, drilling holes in two-by-four beam, like... It was it was a pain in the butt, and I can get an easy four hundred and fifty megabit per second mm-hmm. wi- wirelessly. Jeez! So it's made a difference in pretty much how I where I put equipment and what I put there. So that's been interesting to me because <laughs> I was trying to wire some stuff when we did the old studio stuff. Like we they put the modem up on the top floor and we couldn't get it back to the basement, even though the box was at the basement, right? Mm-hmm. So I, I'm thinking like this time, like just put the modem there in the basement and and if I I'll just do extenders for the rest of the house if I need. So that's so that's and that's what I did. I kind of extended now grab one of those because, uh because google nest wi-fi whatevers or something i extended yeah, but i'm still using the old apple gear 
Mm-hmm. But I'm using really. Yeah, I'm still. I'm How still old using, is that? Well, but I have the one that's only like two years old. That was okay. the last iteration. Oh yeah, of the Airport Port Extreme mm-hmm. that ran that can do AC. Now I kind of cheated, mm-hmm. so I have the cable modem up on the second floor, and I too had problems. Right. <clears throat> So I had run one line down to my basement. Mm-hmm. So I have the upstairs hardwired into the bottom floor. So I'm kind of sandwiched. I've sandwiched the house. Mm-hmm. So, but yet yeah, pretty much anywhere I go now with those two, and I have some, some repeaters in between, nothing that I think is native AC. Cause I only had two of those newer extremes, mm-hmm. but I have, no problems except into the far depth of my backyard. Which, <laughs> You're covering the property at that point. Which, I mean, Dormont's a postage stamp, so it's not like I have a huge yard. No, no, no. But, no. um, yeah, like I, but do I really need it back there? I mean, well, I, I'm going to be very interested to, to, as we kind of build out our property um, that we have expanded. Um, you, still, we have two postage stamps, I guess. Well, but. Look, at, look at how far you can extend at my house all the way out to the camp campfire yeah you have a very long backyard well what do, what do you say the my backyard looks like the old xp with the hills that's right <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're is that where they took the picture yeah. it, it looks like it i mean you like see a picture anytime i go up there for the summer you, there's a it's a big hill and it'll be blue sky because we're out there you know yeah. a, a nice day for july fourth of july or something and then it, literally you see the cows and, and coming up over coming the hill. up over the hill when they let them out for the for the well afternoon. they're not let out they're always up there they're just they're, up, they're at the just other end there. of the pasture <laughs> Jeez, yeah and it's like yeah it's a windows xp background <laughs> but basically but i brought my modem up out of the basement mm-hmm. and it's on a, it's in the living room then i had the extender in the bedroom mm-hmm that that really kind of pushed it out far. I also kind of don't want it. Like part of me is like, well, I don't want it to be, go too far because I don't want it to be access, accessible for three blocks. Well, I don't have to and worry about now, that out and there. And now anybody within three blocks can try to get them into my network. You know. Well, I don't have to worry about that bit. there. You know, you don't have to worry about that. No, <laughs> no you don't. So, but uh, well, and then remember we 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 had these dreams of uh, uh, just shooting a line of internet from the top of this building to my house. <laughs> And extending it from there. <laughs> um, also, like I'm on. I, I know this is all. I like, can sit out, sit out the campfire and watch TV and watch a Hallmark movie. Now. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Off on of your Xfinity. I... Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Well, anyways, I want to talk a little bit. Uh, I like, hope Vios. I can do that with Vios when we get it. Yeah, you'll be able to. Oh, dig even more so. Come on. This is. Oh um, well, we need an extender to bring the internet up to the bedrooms or down to the potentially. Base potentially that but we're gonna it should be fine enough to watch tv and stuff so um but yeah, i say yeah, but, but my rook i'm gonna want a roku you're gonna up want in a roku bed, up <laughs> in my bedroom this is where mom's telling me about it, where on the show Mrs. my mom's gonna tell me about all the stuff she wants installed in the house <laughs> it's like santa's it's like a letter to santa Claus. it is it kind of well, is a little well, bit he, i have to have a little little place downstairs with my desk and because mm-hmm. i'm gonna work part-time basically she's gonna take over the old studio space okay no, so, I'm not going, no, I don't want to go down there. Oh, I thought that's what we were talking about. No, I probably want to be on the first floor. Let's not do this on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Did you ever? Did you ever see the? Oh, and I found it. Mm-hmm. Did you ever see the banned Microsoft Windows XP commercial? No, maybe. So what so, is this? So in, and I can't imagine if we'll get a takedown notice for this. So go in, in honor of Dutters not being here. Mm-hmm. Go to the YouTube link that I posted in there. Where you got in the doc? In the doc. Where did you just talk, drop that? Oh, right in your thing. Yep. Okay. So this <laughs> this is a banned mm-hmm. Microsoft. I'm oh, sorry, Office XP commercial. It was banned. Okay. Uh, it's very sexy. It's definitely very sexy. Oh, okay. There's no new news. Okay. All right. Does it, should I keep going with this? Yep, keep going. Okay. Wait a minute. All right. We're about to go across that right now. Oh, and there's a drop down menu. Uh, and a password. Uh, to get the unexpected the experience. New Office XP. What? That's Microsoft. for Office? Yeah. What is that? 
Chilla, has uh, uh, Office XP ever helped you with a bra strap situation? No, it has not. <laughs> wow, that's great. Uh, hey, you know what else is great? Uh, this this tri- this episode. I don't yes. even know how time we're on because we had to restart the video. Um, you can check out. Uh, we got a lot of great stuff going on. Psychic Media Services uh, helping you with your superhero project. Uh, and the next big thing, and the dog's having trouble in the background. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, but anyways. Uh, we do a lot of great stuff here, uh, including we're just streaming. We were just streaming an MMA show on on uh, on, on Facebook uh, from North Carolina a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we are uh, slated apparently to do a music video late next week, plus helping our friends in the pro wrestling uh, world, our friends in the motorsports world, uh, doing a lot of great stuff. Go check out what we've been working on over at SidekickMediaServices.com. Just uh, updated the YouTube page actually. Uh, and a little bit of the Facebook page, if you want to check out a little bit of our latest uh, stuff from the past year. We're going to get a new um, uh, sizzle reel out there very, very soon. Uh, go check out SidekickMediaServices.com, uh, located in the fine studios here at Sorgatron Media in Beachview. Anyways, uh, oh, so I did not touch on, we, we had some more thankfuls in the chat room uh, that I wanted to uh, get to you guys. Uh, first of all, Steve is saying, Steve, our friend from uh, Bold Pittsburgh Sports Podcast here on this network, uh, my set, my iPhone 7 Plus is still running strong and apparently is not used to its fullest capabilities and thankful that Amanda doesn't buy all the new stuff that she wants. She does have that sweet Apple discount. So, <laughs> um, I'm going to double check that I wasn't, okay, that was just me not moving. I, I thought we paused again. Uh, let's see. We also have Dave Ponder says, not new this year, but thankful that I can keep in touch with people worldwide, wrestling, iPhone, photography, and other podcasts. So, and um, awesome. Thank you, everybody, for uh, dropping in there. So, <laughs> Clippy holds all the passwords. They were saying that that Clippy needed to be in that ad. Yeah. It looks yeah. like you wanted to <laughs> enjoy some adult fun. Do you want help with that? <laughs> So, uh, with that, uh, Mom, we, we, I wanted to open forum here. Do you have any tech questions? And so we have Chilla on, on hand here that you're having some trouble with. Well, I think I fixed the one from a couple weeks ago. Yeah, you were I in the have... chat room. <laughs> Turn one of them. <laughs> you couldn't get your photos over. No, I couldn't get my photos. I couldn't get the phone hooked up to my computer. And, mm-hmm. and well, I, I use my computer at work because really that's my main computer right what now. What are you going to do when you don't go to work anymore? Well, it'll be in my my other computer that's sitting on the table, kitchen table right now. It's okay. going, going to be moved back to the bedroom that I have empty right now. That's going to be my computer room. Okay. And we'll hook everything up to my. This sounds computer. complicated. I know. Well, I got a new computer. It's just it's sitting on my table and I haven't used it yet. So I have a I have a question. Are those photos anywhere except your computer? Well, I usually save them into my computer and then okay. put them on a jump drive. So, oh, and you back them up on a jump drive? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, that's... See, I'm impressed. I'm, okay. I'm, 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 yeah, I I'm do proud. do that. But that's what I was upset. I couldn't get the photos off because all the ones from Runner Beach are on, on this phone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, like three, that's like three copies. Oh, uh, that that just makes me that makes my heart swell. No, no. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't even want to know how many copies you, of your grandfather's pictures. I'm like, oh, my okay. God. Okay. He had a, he has them on CDs. He has them on <laughs> as one should. That's what uh, my grandfather. We were the, you know for a while. Both my grandfather, who was well into his eighties, I think by then. Yeah. And my great uncle, who is was in his nineties. Yeah, he was so not, as, not probably, as good a good on the computer. He was and, not as good at it, but we would send Chachi over to help him with his printer uh, yeah. <laughs> situation because he was still running his dentistry practice over yeah, in right. Sheridan. Um, but but man, granddad, he he. He was doing music. He was pulling sheet music for the for the um, choir. for the choir and making sure that was going. You and know, he, and he did Excel. With that. Sh- he did Excel spreadsheets and mm-hmm. and, and Word. Mm-hmm. He, he did. He, I mean, he did. The, it really, the, it really did run in the family. I mean, he. But then, as he got, he he he'd get frustrated. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Because he was losing the idea of how to do it, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, even even the music. He's. Of course, he thought everybody was out of tune, but that was because his hearing. <laughs> <laughs> An electric keyboard does not go out of tune. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but according to him, it does. Okay. Well, you know. <laughs> Even a brand new one. <laughs> but that, yeah. So, so, uh, 
And I do my I do music on the computer. Mm-hmm. I have I want to figure out how to hook my keyboard up to the computer now. Mm-hmm. That's probably easier than it used to be, as long as you get kind of a newer keyboard. Yeah, and I I got the I've got to get the connections. To I don't think there's a lot of MIDI ports anymore, right? How do, I'm guessing do they just it's have a, a USB port now? Well, I would imagine. No, no, it no? looks like I think it's a it's it's a MIDI that goes in the back. But well, I wonder if it's like a MIDI to USB. Maybe it's probably, a USB that probably. goes into the. Because I mean, you know, even our soundboards here are USB into into the system. So it's like pure we'll digital out, out of the computer, soundboard. My, yeah. my piano, you, you won't be hooking that up to nothing. <laughs> no, no, because it's a piano. <laughs> I mean, we can microphone it, I guess, but uh, that's about it, right? No, it's so out of tune. It's out of tune. <laughs> Jeez. Um, I don't know. Anything else? Well, you, no. Did, I don't know if you've seen me keep posting this thing about the rollout keyboard. What's this rollout keyboard? It rolls let out. Me, me, okay. <laughs> Across the floor, like in big? No, no, no. I no. It's just it's only about this this long. Let me see about if I can pull wide. it up on your uh, on your thing. Yeah, I, I I've shared it a couple of times on my. Mm-hmm. It's a roll out. It, it rolls out. Mm-hmm. I think I thought that would be neat to hook up to the computer when I'm trying to do my music, because I got this gar- garage band. It's a musical thing. keyboard, not a a. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's it a make piano. Noise without it's a it? piano. It's a piano. Can it make noise without being? What, I want to see this. Where's the link? I'm looking for it. But I meanwhile, I I have garage band that has my piano on it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which I I use that a lot. Oh, uh, oh that's right. You have like a yeah. They have the garage band keys on the phone. I that, forgot that. Not just that. behind. That's just behind my phone. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. For the anybody on audio, yeah, her case also is a piano keys, and then she <laughs> turns around and there's actual functional piano and keys. And I use and that. And I use that. You do use that. Yeah, that comes in ha- handy. Interesting. Oh, yeah. I found it. I found this. Um, and I'll I'll, I'll Ooh, share this in a moment. It's only, it's which only one, like which forty bucks. You, it's only like uh, forty it's for, bucks. It's the shop rezone. So that's here it, it is. That's it. Here it is on the video. Yeah. So it is. It is a rollout, full on. Is this? This is a full keyboard, as yeah. many keys, and it, right? It sounds like a key, piano. And he, I love that he's playing it on top of a piano. You know, yeah. <laughs> so, what, so what's the brand? Uh, this is the. I it doesn't really have a brand on here. Um, I'm sure if I kind of click through to one of these things, um, and I'll share this with the. Uh, I'll, I'll share this right now with the Awesome Cast group. If you guys want to join us over there. If it allows me to do that, and uh, I'll grab a brand for you uh, here in a moment too. So, um, so do you think you like with it being like they're not functional physical keys, right? Yeah. Like they're 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 gonna be like a flat button yeah, kind of yeah. kind of and, key. Yeah, yeah. And if you listen to it, it sounds like a piano. Right, right. Um, and so, it's just it's rechargeable, and it has a USB port to plug into the computer. Okay, it is the the dog the dog's going the dog's going. Uh, so it is, I, there's, there's still not a brand on it. It's only, oh, oh, the dogs are going. The dogs are going. It is a, um. <laughs> and uh, you can get it at like a. Full... It's like shop zero store. I, I don't know about how high quality this is going to be. Well, I was wondering, uh, but so this doesn't hook up to like a phone or anything. No, I don't think okay. so. This is a computer situation. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, but th- there's there's your awesome gadget of the week, probably right. So yeah, see, I had an awesome gadget, the, the, the rock <laughs> keyboard. So that is shared on the awesome cast group, and we'll I'm sure we'll have a link in our show notes as well. Um, yeah, awesome. So I, I, we're probably Chilla, You probably have to bounce out of here. Uh, oh, I in do. A few. I'm sorry. Um, any last any last thing? Anything you need help with, uh, Mom? Before you go? Not right now. Okay, we got some Apple people that that are. are per- Apparently, Joe's going to help you out here this week. So we might have a special session for you. Okay. <laughs> See, I was just playing with the EKG now, and it just it, it ran it, but then at the end it says it's inconclusive. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe the, maybe your heart rate's not going. No, well, it, it, it showed the heart. Do you out. have a heartbeat? <laughs> I, I don't know if I'm not doing it right or that something. That could be. Well, we can we can take a look at that. I, I told you, you got to get you some of those classes at the Apple Store. They they go over everything oh, for you. Well, did you know your aunt Cynthia came all the way down to Pittsburgh? I thought it was just to take me out to lunch, but for my birthday. But she had an appointment out of South Hills Village to get her computer fixed. Wait, wait, wait. She came from Elmira, New York. No, Corning, New York. Corning, New, New York. York. Well, it was like over four hours away to go to the Apple Store in South in Hills Pittsburgh. Village. <laughs> To get her to. There's nothing. I guess there's not a lot of Apple stores up there. I guess Buffalo would have one, right? 
Maybe. I don't know. Well, because that's an excuse to come downstairs with one of her girl or one girlfriend too. Okay, well that works. Too. <laughs> that works too. Work it all out, right? I mean, I mean, I find an excuse to go to the Apple stores in New York City whenever I go. So, I mean, they sell the same stuff. Yeah. But I mean, the new one has like plant walls and stuff. The one that's the cube down there uh-huh. at Fifth Avenue that by the old FAO, FAO Swartz. Gotta go back for that one. We gotta go to New York City yeah. again. All right. I thought I I I, I thought you'd, you'd be nervous. Just thought, just she came all the way from Corning just to go to the Apple Store in South Hills Village. Really. Wow, <laughs> wow! It is a nice. It is one of the nicer ones. Yes. Now, I mean, you you got to see it when you got your watch there yeah. a few weeks ago. Yeah. So awesome! And I was surprised how busy it was, and that was during the week. So and that wasn't even busy. No, no, not really. <laughs> so, uh, uh, do you have any social media you want to share? If anybody wants to say hi to you or or help you with your Apple issues. Not that I know of. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, Not uh, right now. Awesome. John I'll, I'll think of it all after we're done. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> John Chichilla at Chilla on the tweets. Chilla on the Twitters. The Light Ahead Portable 61 Key keyboard is $47. <clears throat> Can record locally or be plugged in via a USB to MIDI cable. Hmm. We're, we're Runs gonna, on three, four so now, AA batteries. Now, mom, you're going to get multiple options of this. <laughs> it's not just this. I, I would, I would question this one that you have connected yeah. here. To be quite honest, yeah. looking, well, I, just I, looking I, at the website, I I, it's a nice idea. I just have to set my my keyboard up that this I one, have. Yeah, because I got the good Yamaha. That's mm-hmm, got the. Mm-hmm. I've got the good Yamaha. I didn't. I didn't go cheap. What's that, Chilla? This one will even connect to the iPad, iPhone. There you go. Yeah. And you use the camera connector kit for USB. It plugs in. So the you USB get the USB dongle garage f- band. for your phone and your iPad, and you can what bring it into GarageBand, right? Mm-hmm. So oh, okay. There you go. You don't even need your computer anymore. <laughs> but, well, the garage plant band thing comes in handy when I'm trying to write music Dude. on the computer, which I do that too. Awesome. Well, hey, I want to sh- oh, sh- oh, thank you so much, everybody. Oh, and uh, let's see. Steve says that there's uh, Apple stores in Rochester and Cleveland. So. Well, you think you go to Rochester? <laughs> you think, it's right? Close. It's closer. Rochester's got some cool stuff going on, actually. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you so much, everybody in the chat room. We'll be back in a little bit for the Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We, I got to close this show first. Thank you so much. You've been our awesome audience. <laughs> Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.